Today, we're doing a single barn door installation for a washroom. This video is supplementary to the instructions, so please follow them when doing your installation. All right, let's get started. First, find and mark the locations of the studs along the wall where you plan on mounting the track. If the pre-drilled holes in the track don't line up with the studs, then you'll want to mount a header board as you can see right here. Next, measure the height of the door you will be installing. You need to determine the mounting height of the track by taking your door height and adding one and three quarters of an inch. Measure that distance from the floor and mark it on your wall or header board. Using a long level, draw a horizontal line along the length of the track at the point you just marked. With the help of another person, lift the track up to the wall with the line running through the center of the pre-drilled holes on your track. If you are not using a header board, the holes must align with your studs. Mark the center point of the pre-drilled holes. Then, drill out the holes at the location of the marks you just made. Now, take a look at one end of the track and insert a long lag bolt through the pre-drilled hole and spacer with the wide end of the spacer facing the wall. Loosely tighten the lag bolt into the first pre-drilled hole like this. Then do the same thing at the other end of the track. Repeat for the remaining spacer holes and then tighten all of the lag bolts firmly once the last one is in place. Now let's prepare the door to be hung. First off, we will cut a channel in the bottom of the door to accommodate the fin guide. If you opt for a different style of guide, you can skip this step. Draw a straight line at the middle point along the length of the bottom of your door. Using a router, cut a channel along the length of the door using the line as a guide. Next, you'll mount the hangers to the door. Start by cutting a block of wood one and seven eighths inch in height. Measure and mark the placement location of the hanger so that both hangers are the same distance from the edge of the door. Place the hanger with the strap on the front of the door and then put the block between the top of the door and the hanger wheel. Clamp the hanger down and drill out the mounting holes. Insert the long bolt from the back of the door and secure it on the front of the hanger using the acorn nut and tighten firmly. Repeat these steps for the remaining hangers. Place the anti-jump pad on the top of the door next to the hanger and secure it with a screw. Do it again with the other hanger and make sure the anti-jump pads are sticking out over the front of the door. With the help of a second person, lift the door up at an angle and rest the wheels on the track so that the groove of the wheel fits on the track. Then swivel the anti-jump pads so that they are positioned under the track. Mount the door stops on the end of the track and adjust them so that the door will stop in the desired location. Tighten the screws on the door stop and repeat the process at the other end of the track. To install the floor guide, make sure the door is in the open position. Place the guide in the channel and use a level to ensure the door is plumb. Mark the mounting location, drill out the holes, and secure the guide by screwing it in place. And that's how you do it. Try it out, and if you have any questions, send us a message. We'll be happy to help. Whether you are still planning or in the middle of your installation, Dusty's Rustic Rolling Doors is here for you at every stage of your project. Reach out to us today.